Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will study about noise in single stage amplifier. We will first describe the lemma that simplifies our noise calculation. Okay, the circuit shown over here in figure A and B are equivalent at low frequencies. Thus, that B n square is equal to I n square upon G n square. And the circuits are driven by a finite impedance. So the lemma says that both these circuits A and B are equivalent. Okay, how they are equivalent? Let's prove. Since the circuits have equal output impedance, we simply examine that the output short circuit current, as shown in figure C and D. Here, what we have done? We have used the Current source I n square, and here we have used the noise voltage source at the k terminal. And similarly, in this equation also, okay, what we are doing? We are now finding the short circuit current in both of these circuit, okay, as they are having a equal output impedance. So we will find out I n square out one and I n square out two. We can simply find by using the KCL KVL rule that I n out one is equal to I n out one is equal to I n upon Z s. This Z s G m plus one by R naught plus one and I n naught two is given by G m D n upon Z s G m plus one by R naught plus one. These two current sources will be equal as we have V m is equal to the noise. Voltage equals to I n upon G n, where V n is the gate referred noise of M. Okay, the noise source can be transformed from a drain source current to a gate series voltage for arbitrary Z s, that is arbitrary output impedance. We can simply convert. The drain source current into a noise gate series voltage. Okay, now let us take common source stage. Okay, now the input referred noise voltage per unit bandwidth of a simple common source stage is equals to what we are doing. We are first taking the equivalent circuit for the common source stage and uh, finding the equivalent sources of the noise. That is. One due to this transistor and one due to this resistor, that is the thermal noise. Due to both of them, and the other one is the clicker noise. So we have write the output noise voltage will be equals to this is simply the thermal noise current of transistor M1, which is expressed as a voltage in series with the gate. Okay, and this is simply the clicker noise, the one by F noise. We also write. And this is the thermal noise due to the resistor. Now we can find the input referred noise voltage as equals to output noise voltage upon the gate, which will be equals to 4 kT 2 by 3 gm or gamma gm plus 1 by gm square rd plus k upon cox w 1 by f. Now the question comes: How we can reduce the input referred noise voltage? Okay, so the above equation, this above equation, implies that the transconductance of M1 must be maximized to decrease this input referred voltage, as they both are inversely proportional. So if we increase the transconductance, it will decrease the input referred noise voltage. Okay, so. The transconductance must be maximized if the transistor is to amplify a voltage signal applied to its gate, as shown in this figure A. Whereas it must be minimized if the transistor operates a constant current source, as illustrated in this example. Okay, so transconductance must be maximized if we are using the transistor at the Input that is applied at to its gate, then the transistor conductance must be maximized to reduce the input referred voltage. And if we are using the gates 
current source then the transfer details must be minimized okay so you can see here in the case of this when we are using this uh, vn p no noise output voltage it is directly proportional to transfer inductance so this transfer inductance must be minimized to decrease this output rapid uh, noise voltage and this must inversely proportional to decrease this input rapid noise voltage we must increase this transfer inductance okay so this is about the input rapid noise voltage in the common source stage how we are calculating we are simply using the uh, mosfet thermal noise resistor thermal noise and flicker noise to calculate this input rapid noise voltage okay in the next lecture we will take an another example of input rapid thermal noise voltage thank you